Hey y'all, it's Kitty and it is seriously early in the morning, but I can't wait another minute to unbox my new planner from Erin Condren. Okay, that's enough talking. Let's open the planner. Let me tilt the camera. Sorry about the way I look, but I seriously just woke up. Okay, here we go. I'm probably not going to talk a whole lot in this video because it's more about the planner. This is my third Erin Condren planner and apparently it's my fifth order. I wonder if I get a coupon code with a fifth order. My goodness I do wow thank you for your order uh, to show our appreciation please take $25 off your next purchase wow that's pretty good I always save this sticker right here and I always put it in my planner This is an extra cover I bought, and here it is. I actually sort of want to talk about why I always purchase an Erin Condren and why I picked this one. There's the ruler. This cover is really, really pretty. It was my favorite. It's called Blossom and you can choose your own background and this these flowers look beautiful with with all sorts of uh, background colors this particular one is teal but it looks good with red as a background um, grays dark yellows um, I had a really hard time choosing the background color in fact I got a second cover and uh, this background is called, what's it called? Hang on. Rosewood. So this is rosewood and this is teal. Okay. I got the colorful horizontal. The neutral this year I thought was really, really pretty. But sometimes I just don't feel like decorating or putting stickers in my planner. So I want it to look nice even if I don't do anything. I hope this video turns out because I won't be able to film it again. I actually preferred the font on the neutral one, but I really wanted color. So I just couldn't resist. And here's the first week. I love the watercolor. And of in the horizontal is just when she came out with this last year I just jumped up and down because I hated that vertical thing. As I flip through I'll kind of talk about why I like the Erin Condren. Let's move on to August. My planner really gets put through the ringer. It goes around the house with me, it lays on the couch with me, it falls in between seat cushions on the couch. It falls, un it goes under the couch, um, ends up on the floor, and 
people end up stepping on it. I mean, this does not sit on my desk in a cute little spot and um, just get used occasionally. I use this thing. It gets put in my purse and taken places. I'm, I'm rough. I'm rough with my planners. So those uh, disc things, they would never, uh, <laughs> they would never hold up in my house. And a binder system, you know, with a binder, I don't, that wouldn't hold up either. I would end up destroying it. My previous Erin Condren's, you know, I've even ended up sleeping on it because I'd fall asleep you know, working on it, and then, you know, I end up sleeping on it. My cats sleep on it. Uh, it's just a well-loved item. I really want to thoroughly show the horizontal because I don't think it gets enough love. So I'm going to... I really love the color transition. And every July, I get one just because I can't, I love to be part of the whole hubbub. It's fun. And I figure, hey, it's an only extra $5 a year to get a new one every July, so why not? It's not the sensible thing to do, but I don't really want to want people to think of me and think, oh, she's sensible. She does such a nice job on these. That May color is really pretty. I know this is not the ideal angle, but I can't get my camera to tilt anymore. As far as the choices for coil, you know, she's really making it nice. Uh, you can choose the silver one at no extra cost, the gold and rose gold. I think are an extra $10, and then there's a black one this year that I think is an extra $10. It's either an extra $10 or $5. Here's my thoughts on the colored coils. The black one, I've watched a lot of videos. That black one looks flimsy, and I don't think it's gonna, like I said, sometimes mine even gets stepped on. So I just, I don't know about that black. Maybe um, next year after I see some reviews, I'll think about the black one because I really liked the black one. The rose gold and the gold, you know, because I just put my planner through the ringer, I just don't think that'll hold up. I think it would flake off and tarnish and look really bad. No pages. I wish they'd put colors up here. 
the neutral one I almost got it you guys um, it's really beautiful and the font in the neutral one is outstanding I wish this colorful one had a more cursive font here's 2018 all the extra stickers you get other videos are probably going to have a more in-depth look but I kind of wanted to show you a lot of the horizontal because like I said I don't think they get enough love look at all these birthdays this whole sheet is birthdays I don't even know that many people I've never known that many people in my life that I knew their birthday In this folder this year I really like it I like it that it's not attached to the coils right here this perpetual calendar I never use it so we'll get rid of that and the back oh so lovely so lovely and cat hair on it now there you go thank you so much for watching and i'll see you later bye